Today I'll show you how to make isometric box of this sum. Welcome to technical drawing. Now today we'll see this sum where you'll see front view side view length is 90 height is 60 width is 60. So first we'll take 90 on left side because 90 is on the left side of O. Height is 60 and width is 60. So first you will draw box like this. After this, now we'll start with this. Now over here if you see there are two parts A and B. Here 1, 2 and 3. Okay. Now if you see in this we have T. See this concept T but we don't have top view. So what we will do? We can't start directly because we don't know which one is nearer to us, which one is away from us. So what we will do? We will go with two possibilities because A and B there are two parts, right? So what I will do? I will draw two box. Now in one I will consider B is nearer to me. And in another one I will consider A is nearer to me. So now whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. With that concept if I go, see this, it will be like this and in A it will be like this. Now we have to see which one is correct from side view. Now if you see B, one is not matching with B, see. If you see B, it has two parts which is not matching with 1 but it is matching with 2 and 3. So 3 is here, 2 is here. But if you see 3 and 2 is on the right side of that figure and here it is on the left side so it is wrong. And this is 20. So A is the correct option where if I will take inside 20 I am getting part 1. So I will start with A. So we'll start with second option A. We'll take 30. Then we'll draw vertical line. This is A. Right? How much you have to go inside? 20. So we'll go inside by 20. See this. Now after that, this part. If you see part B, so that I can draw it from here. See this. So what I need to do, I need to extend. 60 and 60 so you'll, you'll get a rhombus of 60 by 60 now in that how much is this 30 so we'll take 30 then we'll go down by 30 see this Then again 30. So you'll get this L shape. Now we draw the bottom line. So we got this part B. Now whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind, right? How much you have to go behind? 40. So you take all these points behind by 40.
see this so we got part 3 and 2 also so this way we have completed this sum you can darken this now if you see this t part see over here this t part it's over here so we are done with this sum now we will use this floral form box for 3d object to prepare an isometric block what we will do first first we will take part by part now in this sum if i'll go then uh, how much is this 20 right 20 by 60 by 60 see this this is 20 sorry 30 this is 60 this is 60 so you take 60 60 60 and you take width 30 and you cut it so it will be like this see so for, so we'll prepare first block of 60 by 60 and width 30 then second block see first we will go for the overall shape so overall shape is rectangle this is 60 height is 60 and width is 40 so again same way 60 60 40 we can take see we can join like this but now we want that shape l shape right a is done in b we required l shape so how much is that 30 go down by 30 this way right so that we will draw it on this box see this it will go down by 30 how now we need to cut now we'll cut this object according to our marking and we'll get the required L shape see this so now what we need to do we'll take a favicol and we'll stick like this so we'll get the 3D object in floral form This is very useful for CBSE students, those who are appearing for engineering graphics exam. In 12th standard, they have practical work. So this is a part of it. See this. I hope you people have understood this. Thank you.